Hi, I'm David. Uh, some might know me as Shark Cookie from my photography business. I am an owner of a Tesla Model S. I've had this car for a while, uh, two and a half years, I think. And I drove about, let's look, 82,000 miles with it. So that's that's quite a bit for any vehicle, really, but especially for an EV. And uh, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about the car, but the number one question is always, how far can you go in a full charge? What's the actual range of the car? So today, um, I want to do a little test. Because the car tells me like I can go 250 miles uh, when I charge it fully. But today I want to do a little test and see what's the actual range that I can get. And so instead of setting up like a test course or whatever, I'm just going to use my normal daily driving. Today I have to go to uh, from Orange County to LA and back and pick something up, come back. It's a typical hot day. I'm going to use the air conditioning for sure. It's about a 50 mile round trip. Um, and I'm going to keep track of all the miles and energy usage and everything and then we can see um, if we actually get the miles that the car thinks I should get so let's test it out okay so I set my uh, trip A to zero let's see the battery has 199 miles um, and um, yeah let's see how it goes Okay, the first interesting thing, I just put it in my navigation system and it says it's uh, 21 miles, 40 minutes, goes across mostly surface street. And I put it in, oh, actually we're going to arrive at 73% battery. My Waze, on the other hand, thinks it has a little bit of a better route. And, um, but it's um, actually 31 miles, so I'm going to go actually with what the car tells me rather than ways. Usually I like ways better, but for this one, if it saves 10 miles and it is maybe like three minutes longer, that's fine because um, I'm not gonna waste that much energy for three minutes. Yeah, the typical LA traffic. Mostly it went on surface street, it didn't even get me on the freeway. Looks like, or actually the prediction was pretty good. It's pretty close. We're almost there. Here we go, we just arrived. The prediction of the uh, car's trip meter <clears throat> was pretty good. I just used a little bit more. First I used a lot more and then it kind of went down. I don't know why. Traffic was about the same, the conditions. So here we are, let's look at our trip meter. We went 20.3 miles, used 4.6 kilowatt hours, and the average usage is 220 seven watt hours per mile that's very low but let's look at the battery so we started with 199 and now we have 182 miles left so the energy usage is super low 230 miles per hour watt hours per mile that's actually super low and um it's not because i was driving very um uh, slow it was just the conditions um were really good and going from where i live to this place is actually um going downhill most of the parts are so going back will definitely be higher energy usage okay I'm done here I'm gonna go back home now uh, I'm gonna reset the trip meter again see what the usage is on the way back um, I have been waiting a little bit and while I was waiting and eating something I was actually uh, turning on the air conditioning from the app by the way the uh, top trip meter will also automatically reset once you get out of the car and get back in and start again. The bottom one since last charge obviously won't change until you plug in the next time. So I can use a top trip meter here just as well. Let's have a little quick look at the route now. There seems to be a lot more traffic and it's going to get me on the 60 which is a freeway. And uh, it's projected to come back home with 57%. Let's see what it does. Let me look at the one more time okay 177 miles to go uh left so let's use that as a starting point reset a here we go here's a little interesting info 
Sorry about the shaky camera behind me. Uh, you can see that I was using pretty much the predicted energy. Um, and then the green line goes a little bit higher, which means I use less energy than predicted. And um, that actually happened once I got on the freeway. And now it's clear I'm on the, on the carpool lane. So I'm actually going, yeah, a little bit over the speed limit. Not too much. <laughs> but what I'm trying to show here is that when you actually get on a freeway and go a little bit faster, the energy usage doesn't go crazy. It actually is in favor. All right, we just arrived back home. It's the battery shows 145 miles. Let's have a look at the trip. And it was 33 miles. And the energy uses 268 watt hours per mile. Here's the same. So it's pretty much the same reset at the same time. All right, we're back. Uh, let's do a little recap of the trips. Um, I wrote down some numbers. Uh, the first trip going there, we started with 199 miles, uh, came, arrived with 182. So that means for a total trip of 20 miles, I used 17 miles of rated range. So basically, I beat the car's prediction a little bit. On the way back, we started with 177 miles, arrived with 145 which means for a total trip length of 33 miles. Remember, uh, on the way back, it rerouted me through the freeway. It was a little longer. Um, I used 32 miles of rated range. So let's just add up the numbers real quick. So a total, uh, the round trip was 53 miles driven, and I used 49 miles of rated range for that. So what does that mean? Um, it means that basically, yes, I do get the range that the car tells me I will get. Um, in this case, I actually beat it by a little bit, but um, I also used a little bit to pre-cool the car. So it's kind of a wash. I think pretty much uh, all in all, I was actually pretty much exactly at what it, what, it, um, what it predicted, what it said I would be able to go. And um, again, uh, this wasn't a setup that, you know, let's try to be most efficient and like, what can I get out of the range? Uh, what can I get out of the battery the most? This was really much, pretty much a normal daily drive that I do for work. Just going back and forth uh, was a hot day. I used my air conditioning and I really made it a point to just go with the flow of the traffic, just like go average uh, what everybody's driving on the street here in LA and in Orange County. So um I think all of that just like it was just trying to make it as realistic as possible, not trying to make it uh, one way or another. And um, uh, it uh, ends up at being exactly or very close to what the car predicts. So um, if people ask me, you actually get the range that the car tells you, that Tesla tells you. And I say, yes, absolutely. You you get it if you just drive with the average um, uh, flow of the traffic. Now, I will say you can go a little bit higher if you have more fun with the car, uh, which is um, <laughs> a lot of people do. And then, but you can also, at the same time, you can also uh, go more efficient, drive slower, drive more conservative, maybe save a little bit on the air conditioning and stuff like that. So you can even uh, get more range than the car predicts. So both is possible. But again, like for this test, I was really just going average and Pretty much straight what the car predicted so yes you do get the range that the car tells you 